Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Bainbridge mass spectrometer Determination of isotopic masses of nuclei Bainbridge mass spectrometer is used for the determination of isotopic masses of nuclei. Let us see the construction and working of it. They are the machines for analyzing the mass both of molecules and of the component atoms of the molecules. The basic technology is very old, although both the control and the analysis devices attached now to the detectors are computerized. All depends on the ionization of the unknown material into gaseous ions, usually to positive, giving the ions a velocity and analyzing them using magnetic or electrostatic fields. Mass spectrometers are the devices that showed decisively the existence of isotopes. Bainbridge mass spectrometer is an instrument used for the accurate determination of atomic masses. A schematic diagram of this spectrometer is shown in the animation. Atoms with one or more electrons removed have a net positive charge and they become positive ions. A beam of positive ions produced in a discharge tube is collimated into a fine beam by two narrow slits S1 and S2. This fine beam enters into a velocity selector. The velocity selector allows the ions of a particular velocity to come out of it by the combined action of an electric and a magnetic field. The velocity selector consists of two plane parallel plates P1 and P2 which produces a uniform electric field E and an electromagnet to produce uniform magnetic field B which is represented by the dotted circle. These two fields are at right angles to each other and to the direction of the beam. The electric field and magnetic field are so adjusted that the deflection produced by one field is nullified by the other so that the ions do not suffer any deflection within the velocity selector. Let E and B be the electric field intensity and magnetic induction respectively and Q be the charge of the positive ion. The force exerted by the electric field is equal to QE and the force exerted by the magnetic field is equal to BQV where V is the velocity of the positive ion. QE is equal to BQV. V is equal to E by B. Only those ions having this velocity V pass out of the velocity selector and then through the slit S3 to enter the evacuated chamber D. These positive ions having the same velocity are subjected to another strong uniform magnetic field of induction B dash at right angles to the plane of the paper acting inwards. These ions are deflected along circular path of radius R and strike the photographic plate. The force due to magnetic field B dash QV provides the centripetal force. B dash QV is equal to MV square by R. M is equal to B dash QR by V. Substituting nu is equal to E by B. M is equal to BB dash QR divided by E. Ions with different masses trace semicircular parts of different radii and produce the dark lines on the plate. The distance between the opening of the chamber and the position of the dark line gives the diameter 2R from which radius R can be calculated. Since Q, B, B dash, E and R are known, the mass of the positive ions 
and hence the isotopic masses can be calculated. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.